Hello folks and welcome back to day 5 of our land yacht rebuild project. So let's take a quick look and see what we've got going on here. So, uh, basically this is roughly the new layout uh, that we'll have under the bonnet. Um, got our new frame uh, coming together nicely here to hold everything. That frame is basically secured to the um, to the original frame rails of the vehicle with some M8 rib nuts. Uh, so here in the front, we'll have our new high voltage junction box. Uh, so contactors and whatever other bits and pieces, shunt and all that will be going in there. Uh, on the left, obviously we have the inverter. And on the right, we have our Tesla Gen 2 charger. And obviously all of our 12 volt stuff will be going in the original e-box as we previously mentioned. So what I'm doing right now is basically getting the stuff organized, getting bits of bracketing done, drilling holes, all that kind of um, metal worky stuff. So once I have all this stuff pretty much as I want it to be, uh, I'm going to take the whole frame out, finish welding it, paint it and uh, bolt it all back in and hopefully now over the next few days we can start uh, wiring. So we'll be doing the high voltage wiring first uh, which won't be too difficult, um, pretty straightforward. It'll all come into this box nicely here for me. Um, putting a new uh, slimline radiator here, probably end up having it down underneath the kind of front grills a little bit here. So that should then let me seal off the original kidney grills totally uh, to keep rain and wind and stuff from coming in here. Um, so that's about it. Uh, that's what we got at the minute. So I'm going to crack on with this and we'll come back later uh, with a bit more going on for you. Okay, so this is kind of part two of day five. Let's have a look. So right now we have our uh, frame painted and installed and drilled. We have the inverter and our Tesla charger mounted. Uh, we have coolant hoses on the motor. I've also got another bracket on the back of the motor here, just in case you guys were thinking that it was going to go spinning on me. Uh, we're currently in the process of wiring the three-phase cables from the inverter to the motor. So I've got one done, two more to go. Once that's done, uh, I'm going to be in a position to drop the high-voltage junction box in here and kind of start working out uh, where I need to put glands and what size of glands and things like that that we're going to need to do to build up the high voltage junction box. So also oh, the shifter linkages are reinstalled and the gearbox is shifting. So we're getting closer. Um, there's a few other things I need to mount once I get the high voltage junction box in. My uh, I need to make a bracket for the power steering pump because that's going to be installed here. Uh, the brake pump is installed under the back. It's just uh, just welded the bracket to the frame. Uh, so that's all done. So yeah, this is kind of getting things together at this stage now and we'll be bringing all of our 12 volt wiring back here. Uh, so yeah, we're in the rebuild phase, uh, taking more time than I would like, but you know, that's kind of the nature of these projects, uh, but we are certainly getting there. So, I will leave you guys there at that. Oh, wait, there is one kind of funny thing, okay? So, obviously, because the land yacht is here languishing in Dave's garage, I need to be driving something else to get to Dave's garage. So, uh, let's have a look. Yeah. 
So, this is what I'm driving now. This three cylinder, one litre, damp, cold Opel Corsa. So this is another reason that I'm kind of in a hurry to get this land yacht back on the road because you can't have me, Mr. Cool, you know, Mr. EVBMW, rolling around in that third mobile, um, you know, spitting out CO2 while the land yacht languishes in chill out zone. So anyway, there's a bit of a laugh for you. Right. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Check links in the description for Patreon, PayPal, GitHub, new forum and whatever else I can think to put in there. Until next time, happy motor wiring.